I'm sure plenty of weebs and nerds can agree mechs can be one of the dopest concepts to exist. Whether it's from an anime like Gundam, Gurren Lagann, or Magic and Knights, or if it's from a game like Titanfall or Daemon X Machina. The thought of controlling one and using this fantasy machine of war would be absolutely amazing. A couple of weeks ago, I spoke of robots of the massive magnitude that a human being could pilot that isn't a tank or modern vehicle of war. Max, the specific video I'm speaking of is Iron Rebellion The Scuffed Review. I also want to state that I haven't done modding related content in a bit, so as you can imagine the topics that will arise with the mentions of mechs and modding. Today we're speaking about Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Originally, mechs were not my cup of tea until a push and nudge from Gramsci. I gathered my thoughts upon the game, yet the deciding factor for my decision was solely for the VR mod of the game. Now, before going any further into the video, if at any point you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the like button as it helps me fight the pesky robots called the YouTube algorithm, and it gets this video to others like yourselves. If you want to see more VR related content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of those videos. Now, let's get in the driver's seat of our mechs. Before getting into the VR mod, let's talk about the game itself. MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries is set near the year 3015, where you can travel among the stars in the inner sphere. Battlefields have become more monstrous with the development of the war machine simply known as Battle Mechs. You can level cities, even planets. You are to decimate your opponents, gain glory as you do your mercenary duties, yet the storyline calls for revenge. The player can manage their company, all of what lies in their ship, to battle the most vicious battle mechs. Weighing in from 25 tons to 100 tons. You can also fight alongside your friends in a four player PVE co-op game. Within the game, you are able to collect mechs, customize said mechs, whether it's new weapons or unlocking new capabilities. You can even paint them. You can control your customized mechs in a third person view or the most immersive of all, the first person view, being in the cockpit yourself. What's even better are the mods. The mods. Whether you're in the Steam Workshop or on the Nexus, there are plenty of mods for you to choose from for you to enhance your experience. The VR mod is one of them. The main premise of why you probably clicked this video, the VR mod, uh, to give you that true immersive experience in the cockpit while destroying your mech enemies. This flat screen to VR mod is not your typical VR mod though. Compared to the previous ones I've covered, I mean. So first things first though, there are no motion controllers for the game and for good reason the motion controls would lack functionality as there are many many buttons that the default game uses especially if you use other mods you can use a joystick or a hotas i think that's how you pronounce it a hotas h-o-t-a-s that 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 word right there to get an even more immersive feeling of being in the driver's seat the main thing that differentiates the mod from others i've covered is that it's not a full vr experience the main menus are still desktop experience as well as adjusting your mechs. Basically everything that the character, the human, is in the ship. That is not VR. The only time the VR initializes is when you are in the mech itself after the drop sequence. Sometimes there is no drop sequence, so you could just be dropped straight in. Who knows? Now, I'm going to be completely honest. It is not my favorite feature of the mod. Taking off the headset at a consistent rate is troublesome, yet getting past that as well as potential performance loss, it's an experience I enjoyed. I hope you remember all of your keys though, because when you're on the battlefield, it's hard to lock down or look down at your keyboard and attempt to find the right key of what you're trying to accomplish. I've said this many times, but playing a game in VR compared to desktop makes the original experience lackluster. Playing this game on a desktop was still fun, but when you seen the gargantuan pieces of machinery fight it out, whether you're shooting lasers, firing missiles, or punching the living hell out of them, the experience can be a bit motion sick inducing, yet you're seated the entire time, so the motion sickness subsides pretty quickly, at least for me. The only time I get motion sick is when I'm actually punching <laughs> an enemy mech. I have yet to experience the 
full VR experience with friends as Gramsci and Berto either did not want to try it at the time or simply couldn't get it to work. However, the experience is phenomenal getting past the FPS barrier. The mod page does state some functionality which will initially only work if you have a numpad, which would you guess it? I don't. So I had to map some other keys to make these functions work. There is some incompatibility in terms of remapping the keys with yet another mech lab mod, but uh, if you put VR mech warrior as the highest priority, then you won't have issues in terms of adjusting those key bindings. These functions include the entering and exit of a VR, which will allow you to uh, access the pause menu to its original intent. And there are also keys to reset the seated position and orientation. Another set to adjust the HUD distance from the player, basically forward or backwards from where you're sitting. And another is to debug the window. Overall, once stabilized, the gameplay was manageable with no headaches. It ran smoothly unless special effects imploded in my face. The, there are mods that up the FPS, those of which I will include in case you decide to try this. I'm disappointed that I couldn't get my hands on a joystick or a HOTUS piece of device. Uh, piece of device. Piece. Device. There you go. <laughs> to be truly immersed into MW5, yet the experience nonetheless is one that I thoroughly enjoyed. As it stated earlier, the only downfall is the consistent on and off of the headset itself, yet if you can get past the hurdle, you'll enjoy the immersive experience nonetheless. Installation can be a bit difficult, especially if you look at the original instructions of the VR mod itself. However, I want to tell you three ways of installing the mod. The original method on the page itself, which is manually, the vortex method, and the MW5 mod load order and activation manager from RJ. Or RJ Twin, I think it's just RJ. First, the original method. Along with its requirements, the MW5 mod compatibility pack, download the two manually, then you go to the directory, go into MW5 Mercs folder and mods, and if there isn't a mods folder, create one and drop the extracted mods there. That is the first manual way. The Vortex method. If you use Vortex, go to the games tab and search for Mech Warrior 5 to install and activate the support for the game. Once you're managing the game, you can go to the Downloads tab and drop the zip files there at the bottom and just simply enable them once they are installed. And that's pretty much it. Thirdly, the MW5 Mod Manager from RJ. Once you have the directory set straight within the Mod Manager, which you can do with File, Install Directory, and Select, then you just find your directory. You can then drop the same zip files into the center panel now this mod manager is the only one that will let you adjust your load order. So if you have some issues, try adjusting the load order with this application. Now these are the methods, so just choose one. I did Vortex, but I also did the mod manager way just to adjust the uh, load order. However though, we are not done. Now I have no idea what it's like for Epic Games or the Windows Store, yet there are instructions on how to do so if you own the game on either of those vendors on the VR mod page. With Steam though, go to the game on the Steam app, select properties, and underneath general, in the launch options portion of the tab, you want to implement dash allow HMD in one word, and the same goes for dash D3D12. This will allow the game to run the headset, to let you play the game in VR, as well as run a uh, Direct X12, I believe. Also, just to be safe, uncheck the Use Desktop Game Theater while Steam VR is active box, like the previous mods I've covered. Now you're all good to go. Go smash those robots for me. Now my honest thoughts of the VR mod. As I said previously, playing a game that was completely meant for desktop and playing it in VR changes your perspective on the said game. I also want to state that I am not, and I've been a not a mech guy. The only mech related things I enjoyed were Good and Lagon and Magic Knights. Those are the only two things to really, maybe some more other anime, but I truly cannot recall. But no, I'm not a Gundam fan. I'm not a traditional mech fan. It's just not my style. Yet, playing this with Gramsci and trying it out in VR has changed my perspective ever so slightly, along with the game of Iron Rebellion. The experience in VR is grand with the scaling of the mechs and being able to look at the cockpit in its entirety 
Trying to remember the keys with the mechs on the keyboard made it a smaller challenge as I wasn't quite used to the game yet, but it was great nonetheless. I also want to state that when we played, our mod list was a kinda decent sized one with modifications to the basis of the game. So things like the engine parts are not in the base game, so if you see that in the gameplay, it's not a part of the base game, it's much more simpler than that. We just wanted to be more immersed and have more customizability in the game. That's why that mod is enabled. Playing this while Gramsci and Berto remain on desktop though was still a fun time for me. The game had quite a bit of lag in the beginning yet lessened near the end as I figured out some settings that made the experience slightly easier to take in, which I expect to be a normal thing now with these flat screen to VR mods. Yet as I stated twice now, this experience isn't the same as previous VR mods I've covered as this is a hybrid desktop VR experience, which I, again, personally am not a fan of. There are, are also the weird function keys to access the menus when in-game with your headset on. If you attempt to do so, you are unable to use the menus unless you press the keys from the mod page first, which in the end is a minimal nitpicky issue that I have, but yet playing this game in VR raises my hopes in games like Iron Rebellion or future games to increase the magnitude or create those mechanical titans to a higher standard. Checking this experience also raised my hopes for games that encourage gargantuan monstrosities, whether it's mechs like these or titans from the MonsterVerse. But that's just me being a giant fan of Godzilla and their, their enemies. Let's just say I want to be Godzilla and fight Kiryu or Mecha King Ghidorah, or maybe be Mecha King Ghidorah and fight Kiryu and Godzilla. But that's just me. Anyway, I highly recommend this experience if your computer can handle it. You'll have to experiment with settings. Uh, there's no real sweet spot for an all-around experience. You'll just have to fiddle with it and find it for you. There are some people who posted their settings on the post section of the mod page for you to try out, and there is some help section within the mod page as well. So, fiddle with it. <laughs> Now I know it's been a bit since I covered anything modding related, yet I tried this mod out in my free time with Gramsci and Berto, all with positive reactions from me, and before concluding, I want to say thank you to those who were patient with me in the Discord as I was in mourning uh, the past week and a half. I cannot express enough how grateful I am to have caring followers such as yourselves. But I also want to thank my patrons for supporting my journey on this YouTube platform. Uh, anyway, all the links for the mod, the flat screen to VR Discord, and other bits and pieces for the mod and the mod author will be in the description down below. Now, if you enjoy the video, please, please hit the like button so this can get to more viewers like yourselves, and it helps me fight the battle mechs called the YouTube algorithm. If you're interested in other VR content as well as hilarity, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of all my future videos. Be sure to set to all because you won't get them in your inbox if you don't. Now, after watching, do you plan to try Mech Warrior 5 in VR? If you don't have the game, do you plan to buy it and try it after watching? Let me know in the comments. Let's start a conversation. But if you want to start a conversation and carry it on longer though, go to the Soul Chamber, my Discord server. There you'll be notified and up to date with my content, as well as being able to chat with me and my fellow souls, whether it's about anime, art, VR, or mechs even. And one last thing though, is to keep your soul free.